This is my first video on YouTube, so I wanted to pick a topic that everyone could relate to. Something... universal. Naturally, I decided to make a video on set theory. In math, a set can be thought of as a box that contains things. For example, you could have a set that contains numbers 1, 2, and 3. Or you could have a set that contains all of the primes, or even the whole number line. Things inside of sets are called elements, and elements don't even have to be numbers. They can be functions, or other sets, or imbecilic heathens who think the catapults are better than trebuchets, even though trebuchets are clearly the superior siege weapon, because they can launch a 90 kilogram projectile over 300 meters using a counterweight. I mean, like, who do they think they are? Those idiots! Now, what if I were to ask you, is everything in the set that contains 1, 2, and 3 positive? Formally, this means that if you pick any element of the set, then it'll be positive. In this case, 1 is positive, 2 is positive, and 3 is positive, so as you'd expect, all of the elements are positive. But what happens when you do this with a set that has no elements? Because there's nothing in the set, we never have to check if any element is positive, so the statement is true by default. Naturally enough, the set without any elements is called the empty set, so we've just shown that all elements of the empty set are positive. But notice, it didn't matter what we were asking about all elements of the empty set, because there wasn't anything for us to check. So we can also say that every element of the empty set is negative, and we can say that every element is divisible by 6, and equal to 47, and has polka dots, and is Steve Buscemi. In fact, for any property we choose, all elements of the empty set have that property. Statements like these are called vacuous truths. This can get even more interesting though, like it's mathematically correct to say that all of my cars are Lamborghinis. I don't own a car, meaning the set of all my cars is simply the empty set, so this is a vacuous truth. Similarly, I don't have any kids, so I could say something like, all of my children are cats. Hell, I can even say that every president I've ever met has kissed me on the lips, or every puppy I've kicked had cancer. That last one's not a vacuous truth or anything, they just all really had it coming. This isn't just a useless technicality though. For example, just the other day, I introduced myself to a cute girl by saying, Hi, my name's Teo, but all my friends call me Sexy McCool Guy. It seemed like she wasn't gonna stick around, but then I told her that every world record I held was for largest penis. Granted, it was kind of awkward when I took her back to my place and I had to give an impromptu lecture on set theory, but I guess I should probably be used to it by now. Kidding, of course, I've never even, I mean, um, every sexual encounter I've had has been with Margot Robbie? Anyway, all this aside, I just wanted to try out YouTube, because, you know, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Wait, I guess you also hit 100% of the shots you don't take? You, you know, the point is, at least when I've tried out this material in comedy clubs, Every funny joke I've made about the empty set has gotten a standing ovation, so I figure there's no way this could go wrong.